okay so here not i'm going to play back your speeches and evaluating your speeches so i will upload this evaluation as the video clip of this session to youtube then you can hear your voice as well as my suggestions so i'm going to play here onward we'll start from chatu okay so before starting this one um, when it is coming to part three i will give some uh, general idea about part three before evaluating your uh, speeches your answers they have certain type of questions in part three they have yes no type answers you have to give yes no type of answers for certain questions and they have some more questions which is required some comparison so comparison type of questions also there and they have a statement type of questions also so you have to understand the type of question before you give in your answer as an example if you are getting one question which is required to have some comparison so you have to compare uh, the similarities then you have to contrast also i mean the differences also then while um, showing the similarities and differences and at the end you can give your conclusion then you can have a balanced answer for the question so that kind of things are there in part three you have focused on uh, ielts speaking te test means not only the cue card so they have part one and part three even though if you are doing cue cards most of the days you have to focus on part three and part one as well you have you you can find a lot of things uh, throughout youtube as well then they have so many methods they have so many guidance for uh, giving you answers for part three questions anyways we'll see i'm going to play from here or not we have one more minute before the sir hmm. i will ask for questions from each of you if i have enough time i will give some chance are the benefits of learning okay sir hmm. what are the benefits of learning a foreign language uh yeah it's uh, according to my opinion it provides uh, so many opportunities especially for the students as well as the workers when we consider about uh, the, the academic level when they, when they learn about foreign languages uh, it will really benefit uh, usually they will they tend to study some english for uh, german language spanish as well as Tamil language also because once we go to the foreign language we can uh, experience with our own way and it's familiar for us mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so Chatu can we tell me how many benefits have you mentioned in your answer only once <laughs> once they go foreign country familiar so this question actually it's basically asking what are the benefits of learning foreign language so you are you actually mentioned about certain foreign languages english uh french like that i don't remember exactly the languages but you mentioned some languages you explain one specific uh, benefit of uh, learning foreign languages instead of that as this is part three answer i prefer if you can give at least two or three more uh, benefits of learning foreign languages don't okay. it it doesn't require you to apply those things into your lifestyle you don't need to take examples from your lifestyle you you can tell anything this is part three actually you have to give kind of general answers with look at look at the society by considering the general facts so you could do something better in part this question right okay Will computers replace foreign language teachers in the future? Uh, yeah, according to my perspective, it may be because uh, nowadays we already live in a digital society. Really good, that word. I like the word you applied in there. It also can be happen in future. Uh, I think uh, it's not better way because we can get experience with our teachers and tutors with face to face rather than the online method. Then we can uh, immediately learn our things with the under the supervision of our teachers. Actually, the question, uh, if you think properly, as I mentioned in the very beginning, what kind of question is this? Chatu, what do you think? Uh, they ask um, strategy 
Request. Mm -hmm. I'm asking the type of question. Actually, uh, we can identify two types here. First thing is either you can do some comparison in between uh, computers and teachers, right? Because this is asking, uh, will computers replace the physical teachers oh, in the yes. future like that? That is the idea. Yeah. So you have to compare in between these two two factors apart from that you can use curse effect method they have one method called curse in single we know that method so that method also possible to apply in this question but i prefer if you can uh, compare in between computers and teachers you did something somewhat it's better but you could do something more like if you can show some uh, advantages of using computers rather than uh, physical teachers and if you can show some disadvantages of that then your answer might be quite balanced and at the end you can say uh, you prefer to continue with teachers rather than computers in the future for having a uh, good society with having good qualities because computers cannot teach qualities uh, but only the uh, things we have to learn like that you can manage okay. understand yes yeah. and follow up Follow up. So, so we want to add some conclusion in mm, the end of the. Actually, it's not compulsory, but okay. mostly in comparison type of questions, you are comparing. It means you are telling some similarities, you are telling some differences, or maybe you are telling some advantages, or you are telling some disadvantages. So, it doesn't mean anything. At the end, you have to say that which one is better, All right? Uh, okay. Maybe according to you, maybe according to the general facts. If you are, if you can say, I prefer computer definitely will uh, replace teachers in the future, and it will be a good thing for learning past than uh, participate into physical classes, and it will save some time for us to uh, do our other works as we are having a busy life schedule. So you can apply these things, cannot you? Okay. Okay, okay, sir. That's called conclusion, okay? Yeah, okay, sir. Hmm? Is grammar the most difficult part about learning a foreign language? Uh, yeah, I think so, because uh, grammar is the every, and uh, for, once we started any... So here you can understand. This is actually yes, no type of question. You have to say either yes, either no, so you have to give some reasons or maybe some examples for proving why you are saying yes or no you have to understand this type and you are doing great here let's see a new language firstly very first time you want to study the grammar part because it is the, the foundation for any and every language once we are uh, impeccable with the grammar part definitely it will easy for learn anything mm -hmm. What makes a good foreign language teacher? Uh, yeah, when we need to consider about the foreign language teacher, it, uh, definitely he or she uh, play a critical role in a society because uh, once you consider about the ILT, yes, then they provided so many provide so many things regarding the ILC, yes, they provide study materials and actually yeah, they help to go abroad and they uh, our future also they they provide so many amenities uh, regarding our future uh, as well as uh, every and each person uh, i think uh, they respect to any uh, teachers which regard on the foreign language because they we, we our future already depend depend on their hand mm -hmm. i like that answer oh, nothing wrong in there mm, in part three actually i'm telling to everyone not based on this answer we know it's coming to part three answers examiners are too much thinking about the content you are explaining um, same like considering about the grammar and all other structures within your answer they are still considering about how widely can you give in some answer for part three questions so wide range of answer should be there wide range of ideas uh, the facts you are using rather than your personal opinions you have to showcase some general ideas in part three so those things are there in part three answers i'm telling to everyone for getting some idea really good this answer i really like that okay okay so chatu, i think that ah, okay chatu i think 
you got some ideas from evaluation i guess so isn't it yes definitely i got so many things okay thank you sir okay, okay welcome then let's move with hera hera the idea yes sir okay i'm going to play your answers now hera the idea yes sir hmm. what kinds of jobs require people to be confident uh i think uh, according to their education level uh, their uh, of occupations are different uh, according to their education they decide to what's their <clears throat> career in the future according to that uh, occupation is uh, different and uh, stressful stressful from for the for them and uh, difficult for them here uh actually this question is required at least uh, two or three examples right it doesn't mean you have to mention type of job at least you can mention some sectors question what was the question if you remember here jobs require confident what kind of jobs people are required to be confident right yeah. let me check the question again if i'm not wrong wait what kinds of jobs require people to be confident so in this question actually it's asking what kinds of jobs at least you have to mention some jobs it's not compulsory but if you are giving some examples for this question then your answer will be really good at least if you can say uh, in health sector and education sector uh, performing some jobs they should have some confidence because they are playing a major role in the society uh, when it's coming to education sector teachers are building the new generation when it is coming to health sector people are uh, saving their life in that sector so they have to be confident for performing their jobs if you are saying like that can you feel that yes sir. Hmm. that kind in some questions examples are not quite compulsory but for some questions mm. like this it's better to have some examples okay okay sir good mm -hmm. on what occasion should children be encouraged uh, i think uh, since their preschool time uh, most of children are encouraged to be a teacher doctor or engineer uh, instead of that uh, there are some uh, other parts also uh, i think and i believe that uh, the children must be encouraged for the other parts such as uh, skill workers also mm -hmm. how do you help children stay focused uh, i think uh, yeah, parents uh, must not be uh, encourage their children to this is your uh, occupation in future you have to do this one in your future uh, that uh, that decision must be taken by the uh, children uh, in uh, since their child here uh, now i think you also can understand in previous question and this question also you are considering about children's occupation future jobs yeah. am i correct but yeah. uh, just leave the previous question in this question how do you help children stay focused it's asking about how do you help children to stay focused right now it's not asking about their future jobs right yeah maybe it, it might be kind of misunderstanding of the question or maybe mm. uh, you may not be able to provide some good uh, wide range of answer for the question so you can say a lot of things like you can tell um, parents should make the the good environment for their children to stay focused on their works and education and parents should care about their children's behaviors and if they are too much stick into computers and mobile phones as nowadays it's a kind of ongoing issue and parents should have some uh, restrictions on that kind of things are required to give some answers for this question how do you help children stay focused am i correct yes sir okay well would we can encourage them to their career pathway in proper manner uh, not only through the educational uh, pathway but also the uh, other extra curricular activities uh, through that i can uh, we can 
gain a pathway to uh, select an occupation to the children. Mm -hmm. What challenges do young people face today? Uh, I think uh, they uh, face a lot of barriers uh, in the society, uh, not only from the education side, but also they have languages, language barriers, and also uh, they haven't. Yeah, Herat, one more thing. In previous question also, you applied this not only but also. Uh, try not to apply same component, grammatical component in your um, same kind of answers because you you can use some another word instead of not only but also. These are coming under correlative conjunctions. I think you may know. So they have so many correlative conjunctions rather than not only but also. Try to show you a range of vocabularies as well as range of grammatical structures instead of repeating same it's not kind of role in ielts exam but if i am the examiner i may feel that you are using same again and again it means you don't have enough range of grammatical and range of vocabularies right okay sir try to use something else uh, so that's kind of uh, suggestion from my side let's see uh, confident level uh, so i think uh... Through these problems, uh, they uh, face uh, various kind of problems in the society. Okay, as an answer, I really like this answer because you are giving kind of good general idea for the question and this kind of answer should be there in part three. Good. Okay, Herat. So that's enough for you. Thank you for your... Okay, and so Herat, have you got something from my evaluation or do you require to ask yeah. anything? Further? Yes, uh, today is my first day for facing the third, third three. section. Is it? Oh, yeah. So, how do you feel about that? <laughs> uh, so I think it's better to practice uh, like today. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I have to improve my vocabulary. Okay, so today or not, then considering part three, same as you are considering cue cards, okay? Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Pimi, do you... I think you should be there. Pimi, idea? Yeah. Yes, sir. Let's see then. Huh. Do you think there are more beautiful things now than the past? Uh, no, I don't think like so, because there are so many beautiful things. Uh, there were so many beautiful things in the past, and there are so many be uh, beautiful things uh, also today. Uh, it depends on uh, what the way we are looking at that uh, everything. Uh, I mm -hmm. think if we can... Uh, if we can look the beautiful or pretty uh, everything uh, they... it should be look the beauty right not beautiful yes sir then you can feel that okay they might be beautiful for us ah uh, okay now my question is for me the question do you think there are more beautiful things now than the past but mm. you are not mentioning any example or any related things in your answer. You are just saying same question as your answer. Like you are trying to comparing nowadays and past without giving any example. So it's not feels good, right? Okay. At least yeah. I think you are a nurse, isn't it? Yeah. At least if you can say, um, if you are um, giving some example from your career, at least you could say, um, as a nurse, nowadays I can see um, good advancement of uh, health sector. So that's a kind of beautiful thing which I can see nowadays. In the past, there wasn't this much of good technology. So I can save some life nowadays. Actually, it's not much appropriate, but at least you can try with that. Instead of that, you can tell about arts, you can tell about maybe uh, dramas, whichever, whichever beautiful things, okay, piece of art, everything. So you can compare in between past and now, even though comparison is not much required. Do you think there are more beautiful things now than past? Little comparison is required, but I feel if there is one example, at least one, that might be feels better. Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you think there are many scenic spots in Sri Lanka or there are many more in other countries? There are uh, so many scenic areas in Sri Lanka, but uh, not only that, uh, in the world there are so many places. Okay. Um, second thing actually, I'm not getting enough time for explaining these things in free sessions, but I will tell you this. Uh, try not to repeat the question as you answer. Okay, Pimi? Yes, sir. Remember, I think I have told yeah, this yeah. in my pre-sessions also, if you remember. Uh, do you think there are many scenic spots in Sri Lanka or there are many more in the other country? That's all the question. So if you are giving your answer like there are so many scenic places in Sri Lanka, it feel like you are explaining the same thing. Try to paraphrase. Okay? Okay. Let's see now. It's like that. Because Sri Lanka is a very uh, small country, Sometimes uh, there are, uh, if there are any, uh, large mm -hmm. country, they have so many, uh, more than uh, my country, but um, uh, in my opinion, in Sri Lanka, the everywhere have some uh, scenic area uh, throughout the, throughout this country. Okay, I like your comparison. So you can add something for that, like uh, if you because your conclusion was Sri Lanka is having is still good scenic spots. So for proving that, you can say, I believe that Sri Lanka is having a good scenic places. That's why tourism has become the one of major um, path to uh, earn money in our country. Like that, you can apply. You can prove your idea. So proving idea, this kind of things you can apply. Okay, just one suggestion. But your answer is quite good. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Where do you think people usually come into contact with beautiful things? Sorry, sir. Where do you think people usually come into contact with beautiful things? Uh, yes. Sorry, sir. Okay, I will ask again. Where do you think people usually come into contact with beautiful things? Um, uh, from the worldwide, a uh, lot of um, foreigners come to uh, Sri Lanka and a uh, lot of travels, travels, uh, travelers go to abroad. Uh, finding lot of scenic areas to visit uh, i think uh, it's not there are no any exact areas but worldwide people uh, go to um, where they like to uh, visit okay okay i think due to that noise you was a bit distracted that moment but still your answer was good okay Sir, really, uh, I couldn't concentrate. I, I, I got to know that. Yeah, I also felt that while you are giving your answer, but still you try to manage. But yeah, that kind of things may happen. But actually, what was the question, sir? It means uh, the place sir, where uh, people go to contact with beautiful things. Yeah, like I will repeat the question. Where, okay, I will, I will ask. Where do you think people usually come into contact with beautiful things? Okay. So it's, it doesn't mean that scenic sports. Don't rely on previous question whenever you are getting new question in part three. Just mm -hmm. think in a uh, wide mind, not with broad mind about previous question or cue card question. Don't rely on that. If I think widely about the question, where do you think people usually come into contact with beautiful things? Maybe within their daily basis life, maybe in their homes, maybe whenever they are you know, participating into their office or maybe workplace, maybe while they are traveling mm. anywhere, or maybe while they are having picnic or maybe uh, on vacations, wherever you can say. Maybe yeah. whenever they are um, shopping, all right? Yeah. Wherever you can explain anything because it's asking come into contact with beautiful things. Beautiful things means you can explain everything. Everything, yes. 
it doesn't mean you have to uh, rely on some specific things you can give you idea on any topic because that's applicable as the question asking beautiful things it doesn't mean any kind of specific beautiful thing okay in this kind of questions you can be you can play a nice role because you can tell anything examiners also cannot re uh, reject in what you are saying because the question is kind of wide range of uh, idea is there right yeah mm. good. okay good why do you think people create beautiful things uh i in my thinking people create beautiful thing uh, because of their uh, happiness and other happiness uh, not only that uh, the happiness or maybe other happiness yeah <laughs> other happiness if you, if you, uh, maybe happiness of other peoples yeah. like that other persons or maybe and for earn money as their job uh, likewise uh, people uh, make beautiful things and the, in my thinking the main uh, purpose is um uh, the happiness of the of the of their own happiness that's why they create beautiful things okay mm, okay i think this answer is quite not um, long enough you can tell something more on the question why do you think people create beautiful things so your answer is bit okay but kind of things you could apply you just try to explain the question as your answer people create beautiful uh, beautiful things just for their happiness as well as other happiness you didn't mention about their creativity or you didn't mention about um, sometimes people are creating beautiful things just because of uh, relieving their stress right that also you can apply some songs are they are written just because of their um, past experience which is sad so sri lanka also they have such kind of songs you can explain yes cannot you yes sir mm, some novels are they are based on true stories so that kind of piece of good novel have written just because of their um, past experiences so you can explain okay yes, think widely when it is coming to part 3 you can have yes. a lot of ex uh, examples for part 3 questions if you are yes. thinking widely good yes, i think this is the last question of you how do you feel have you got anything from this question you me yes sir have yes, you got sir. anything ah, okay so today or not try to practice <laughs> on part 3 or so because uh, i yeah mm. okay mm. because uh, usually we are doing cue card questions but we are not covering part 3 whenever you are covering one cue card question even in our pre sessions uh, try to cover part 3 questions afterward the pre session then you can cover both okay yes mm. okay let's quickly go on uh, we are running out of time okay good okay good that's okay <laughs> nowadays no uh, me uh, even um, nowadays no uh, me uh, even uh, small children also have smartphones then they have um, practice i think the elder ones normally use cell phones only for calling and messages uh, therefore the time the time consuming and the way they use and the uh, sources they referring and this um, me a uh, social media platforms are also different in um uh, young young younger than mm -hmm. wait 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 i think i missed one question of you yes yes plus question was missing so i have to repeat from here maybe let me play back Okay. good that's more than enough for me thank you for your participation yes, sir. okay so i request from others please mute your microphone if you are not taking your chance otherwise it will be a disturbance to the person who is talking here when you are getting your chance you can unmute your microphone and talk with me okay just a kind request 
Sanjana, are you there? You will be the next one. Yes, sir. Hmm. Okay. Yes, sir. Let's see. Okay. Your cue card question is describe a time you used your cell phone or smartphone to do something important. So I will ask part three question related with this one. Okay. Okay, sir. What do you usually do with the cell phone? Uh, normally, I use my cell phone to uh, get calls and messages, and most of the time, uh, I use phone to uh, go uh, to use uh, as an internet source. And uh, uh, when my free time, I use my phone to uh, scroll social medias uh, such as Facebook, WhatsApp, and Instagram. Okay, I like that answer. Sanjana, are you there? Yes, sir. I really like that answer, okay, because you are covering a lot of things within your answer. Almost everything which you are doing normally within our mobile phones, really good. So many examples. Okay. What are the differences between young people and old people when using a cell phone? Uh, there are so many differences in between young people and the adults. Uh, because uh, nowadays uh, young people are more uh, more new more new gen new generation they they have um, they have more access to so websites as so here you are struggling a bit to explain what you need to explain right yes sir mm -hmm. try to uh, find out some because this is one more idea whenever you are facing such issues just because of lack of vocabulary don't try to recall those words instantly it will not work while you are speaking so instead of trying hard for um, recalling the same exact word try to paraphrase or try to use some similar words for explaining the things which you require to explain in in that method you may be able to rid of these um, hesitations okay sanjana okay sir realize uh, so many uh, uh, internet platforms and they know very well than uh, elder, elder ones and um, nowadays you know, may, uh, even uh, small children also have smartphones then they have um, practice i think the elder ones normally use cell phones only for calling and messages uh, therefore the time the time consuming and the way they use and the, uh, the sources they referring and this um, me uh, social media platforms are also different in uh, young young younger than elder. Mm -hmm. okay um I really like about your idea of this answer as well. You have good ideas of these part three answers up to now. But uh, if you can explain these things without putting any extra effort to your speech, then it will be really quite good answer. Okay, Sanjana. So try to enhance your fluency and okay, try sir. to enhance your range of vocabulary for explaining certain things. Then you don't need to worry about ideas which you are explaining in part three. So I hope generally you can, you have that ability. Okay, good. Okay, your next question. Which one is more Time, important? Using a cell phone to make phone calls or to read messages? Mm, it depends. Uh, when, uh, like uh, like this, uh, if you are in a uh, lecture, a lecture hall or a, 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 some important meeting, but uh, if you want to take a message from home or a uh, and other special person i think in that stage the messaging is more important but uh, normally in day-to-day -day life i think uh, the getting calls is more important than messaging because uh, uh, we don't uh, look at phone every time is there any um, is there any message or not but uh, if, when normally the calls when we get a call for the phone, it's ring. No, they then we can get the call. But uh, in a special situation like a meeting, 
like I previously mentioned, that's important for the message. Uh, therefore, it's uh, totally depend on the situation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, regarding that answer also, I really like about your answer. Really good, the idea, your comparison also. Good enough for explaining the answer. Um, good. Okay, sir. Let's see your last question, I guess. Do you think there should be a law to stop people from making phone calls in public? Mm, uh, no, I think that's so. Uh, but there's a... Uh, it must be some rules, but good to prohibit uh, because uh, many things to do in their day-to-day -day life so uh, where it can be a public place or private place or anywhere and and also we have priorities uh, uh, according to their life uh, what happens if, uh, uh, if the children call a uh, very important call in a public prohibit uh, I think that's not good. Therefore, we need rules, but prohibiting calls in the public, I don't accept it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that is all, Sanjana. Thank you for okay, Sanjana. So uh, your last question also, I don't feel anything wrong. Your answer is quite good. Only thing is you have to enhance your fluency for explaining these ideas in a good way and okay, kind of okay. unique vocabularies that's all apart from that everything was quite good how do okay, you feel sir. do you have you got anything about part three from this yes sir. Uh, mm -hmm. i got a lot of things because this is the, my first time mm -hmm. to face a part three question then i uh, i learn a lot lot of things sir. Mm -hmm. thank okay, you sir that's good okay welcome now we have amali amali are there Yes, sir. Okay, I'm going to play your answers now. For participation. Anyways, you, uh, your last question was quite, I will start evaluating your speeches, but I will evaluate only if you are available while I'm evaluating your speech. Otherwise, I will pass you a chance without evaluating because it's not any sense if I'm evaluating without you present in the session. So after Mali, I will start evaluating. Okay, Mali, let's go. Your key card question is describe an important thing you learned not at school or college. So I'm going to ask part okay. three question related with this one. Now. Your first question. What do children learn from their parents? Uh, actually, uh, children learn a lot of things from uh, parents because uh, when we are in childhood, uh, most of the time uh, we live with our parents. So uh the bad things as well as uh, the good things also uh, we learn from our parents uh, i think uh, the childhood is the uh, most uh, preferred age uh, to uh, learn, uh, learn for our children as well uh, and uh, they learn uh, like uh, good, good behaviors and how to deal with the uh, society and uh, such things. Uh, I think uh, they learn from uh, the parents. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, that answer also good actually, Amali. You are giving some examples, kind of ideas, what kind of things children are learning from their parents. That's a good thing. And I I think for you also, if you can gain your fluency a bit for explaining these things with some unique words, it will be quite better than this, but still your ideas are good. Huh? Okay. Are some children will behave because of their parents? Sorry, sir. Are some children well behaved because of their parents? Uh, yes, of course. Uh, but uh, sometimes uh, there may be some effects from the uh, teachers as well. If our parents uh, not behave very well, uh, but uh, but the children have uh, 
uh, very well behaved be, uh, because of the influence of the teachers as well as the uh, schools and the preschools uh, because uh, they learn uh, so many things for the uh, children. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Is it necessary for adults to for this part? Second question, are some children will be here because of their parents? I feel that you could do something better. Mm, okay. yeah. uh, your answer is quite good, but still you can add something to your answer. Okay, this question, yes. uh, if you are considering the type of question, are some children will be here because of their parents? So it's a yes, no type of question. You have to prove if you are saying yes, you have to prove that. If you are saying no, you have to prove that. In order to prove in that, you have to show some reasons or maybe details or maybe some examples. Then at the end, you can uh, tell your conclusion. Yeah, yeah yes. Okay, sir. Let's see your next question. Yeah. Uh, new things? Uh, it's uh, not a must, uh, but uh, in Sri Lanka, I think the uh, grandparents and the elder ones uh, uh, teach uh, like uh, stories and other things to the to their children and uh, from that stories uh, most of the children uh, learn more things and how to help people and uh, how to improve our knowledge and the skills like Mm -hmm. uh, so I think uh, in Sri Lanka, most of the time and the children learn so many things from the elders. Uh, but in other countries, it is uh, not in that way because uh, they are uh, like uh, the children grow older. Uh, they uh, live in uh, they are they are not uh, learn so many things. Please. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is the case. Uh, in this set of questions, up to um, your second question, the question asks about children, and here it's opposite. It's asking about adults, but you didn't understand the question properly. I think the question is: Is it necessary for adults to learn new things? Uh, Have you got the question? No, no, no. <laughs> so in your real exam also, this kind of tricky situation might be present. Um, for certain yes. questions, there might be on some topic, but some other questions might be there totally opposite. So while you are listening to the questions of examiner, you have to listen carefully without think in your answers while you are listening the question don't think anything else just listen the question carefully then once yeah. after you understood the question then only you have to proceed with your answers otherwise this kind of issues may happen so when yeah. i'm considering this answer if i'm the examiner i may think either you cannot understand the question you are not capable enough for understanding what others are saying in that case you will lose some marks or maybe yeah. I may think you understood the question, but you couldn't give some appropriate answer for the question. That also might be a reason. So examiners definitely reduce some marks as you are talking off topic. But at the beginning, if you are giving some statement like, um, actually, I don't have any idea about what adults should learn uh, or throughout their life, but children should definitely learn. Like that, if you are saying in the beginning, then examiner know that uh -huh. oh, you know the question, you have understood the question, but still you are talking about children instead of adult. That is somewhat okay, mm -hmm. but without saying that, it means okay. totally you have misunderstood the question, right? Ah, uh, yes, yes. Okay, so don't let it happen. If you are not clear about the question, just ask to repeat the question from the examiner. That's totally okay, okay? Uh -huh. Okay, let's see uh -huh. the last question. <laughs> This will be your last question. Let's see. I'm going to play. What are the options for learning new things? Uh, in nowadays, due to the development of the technology, there are so many uh, new uh, things to learn. The most, the, the most and the popular thing is the internet. And uh, all the people have access to the internet and we can search ma many things in a few seconds. Uh, and in when considering the past, uh, 
it is somewhat difficult because uh, we should go for the uh, go to library and uh, should read magazines and uh, books uh, it, uh, it is a time consuming method but nowadays uh, we can search anything in a few seconds and as well as uh, there are uh, youtubes and other social medias also so we can uh, get uh, like any information and news uh, news uh, from uh, that technologies okay so this question also i really like about your idea you nailed it you explain about the options which are available in nowadays and the options was there in past life that is totally okay really good comparison in between that uh, you have some self correction as well as repetition also idea repetition once it was there i just listen back okay Mm, apart from the self correction and repetition everything was perfect so overall when i'm considering your all of the questions apart from number 3 question you nailed all other questions properly yes, sir. okay oh, okay sir thank you sir mm. so you also have to be careful about part 3 questions and you have to start working on part 3 questions okay okay sir okay, mm. okay then i hope that's all uh, I hope you have got something from the evaluation. I'll uh, upload this into yes. YouTube. Then you can uh, listen back your answers. And today or not, try to practice on part three questions as well. Okay. So this is more than enough for today. Uh, today evenings, they will not have any other free sessions.